want to share something with you. Something I have never shared with another. Magic, I... When I was at Professor Xavier's school, I would listen to this album in my room all the time. Sometimes for many days straight. After your time in limbo, music must have been a revelation. It was a lifeline, but it made me no friends. I prefer to listen in solitude, as I always have. You are not alone now. Good, you noticed. The others would not understand. But I know you will, as we both have so much in common. I suppose we are kindred spirits in a way. Of course. We are both children of darkness who escaped our destinies and decided to forge new ones. We are both reformed, trying to be good guys now, even if we do not always succeed. It's nice to have someone to relate with. It is, is it not? Okay, enough talking. Let's listen to the album now. The second hour is when it really gets good. The Sanctum's gone. It's unbelievable. There really is nothing sacred to the world. Strange and Tony should start a law's headquarters support group. <laughs> like players. Practice makes perfect. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. See you around. Poor Doctor Strange. I only know a shade of the law. I still can't believe Tony Stark is here. In the Abbey with us. Crazy, isn't it? That is one way to describe him. I mean, the guy's the richest, smartest dude on the entire planet. L least according to his website. I don't know. You think maybe he'd be able to do me a favor? You know, after we save the world, I mean. You are comrades in arms against Lilith. I would think he would be happy to assist you. Provided we survive, of course. Oh, there's no if in that equation. My brother Gabe's the strongest kid I know. But there's no way I'm leaving him to deal with your mother alone. No offense. None taken. It seems we both have something to live for, then. He's actually who I wanted to bring up with Tony. Gabe's warm-hearted, loves making people happy. And I know he's gonna do something great one day. It's just, that wheelchair of his is not exactly what I'd call the deluxe model. I thought maybe Tony could help build Gabe some upgrades when this is over. Repulsor beam's optional. Stark is loud and foolish, but he has a good heart. Talk to him. If he can help your brother, I'm sure he will. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, thanks, Hunter. Damn. What are we gonna do without the Sanctum? Can I help you? Okay, so that's two sup- How's it going, boss? Let me do my Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed.
See you, Hunter. This is emphatic. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Damn it. We needed that sanctum. I suspect you could turn anything deadly. It's been a long time since I've heard such nice things about me. And suddenly, there are two openings in Manhattan's red-hot real estate market. So, I guess that means existential. What's the latest intel? And Hydra rears its ugly head. We're ready to make a move. Service at friendly neighborhood prices. Hunter. Lilith has focused all her efforts on the carnival. This will not be an easy fight. Blaze seems to be holding his own so far. Blaze has been an imperfect guardian, but he's done what was necessary so far. safe so far, but he won't withstand a full-on assault from Lilith on his own. He will not be on his own much longer. The parchment will stay safe. Good. And while you're there, see if you can talk some sense into him.
inside, you can go straight to hell. Oh, she's dead! Surrender the page, please. Nice meet you, lady. Surrender, or be destroyed. Ah, they dug up Junior, too. Child. Struck a nerve, huh? Then you're gonna love this. <laughs> Heard you were dead, Johnny. That was the idea. I'd ask what you were doing here, but... I just pumped a few rounds in his chest. The legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much of that. This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. We'll just have to hope Blaze can handle the escape on his own. You've got a big problem of your own to do. Call that one. The she's summoning are going to make things a lot harder unless you destroy them too. Take out the big lady in a rock collection. Got it. Let's dance. And just because Lilith decided to talk through this one, don't feel the need to show it any mercy. Watch and learn, my friends. Younger, please. Your time has come. You were too weak for this fight.
unwavering. Destroying those altars may be the fastest way to bring her down. Assuming we can get past that guardian. Not my first rock rodeo. Nothing to worry about. Mother abandoned. go. the beginning of the end for you. you don't destroy, she'll attempt to turn into monuments. Shrines to Lilith that manipulate- I never knew my mother was so vain. 
I assume that comes with a territory when you have a cult following to maintain. Something. won't be happy to see your favorite ones fall so easily. You cannot resist, child. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Maybe so. But not today. Let's hope not. Not so tough without that little pop gun of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as me. Somehow, you get uglier every time I see you. And you get smaller. Grunt. Stop fussing over. Idiots. After them! Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Yeah. 
Let me show you. The sky is the limit! I haven't lost their interest yet. You're gonna pay for what you've done here. I'm gonna make sure of that. <sighs> Small man. It's a big game. terror to worry about. Possibly match your strength.
did what we could, Blaze. That's what folks with bloody hands always say. If we do not stop the Midnight Sun, the entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you gonna follow him? Nah. He may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other. Now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. Grade A bull. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. This is bull. Grade A bull. I wish I could have. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. If you were to be completely honest with yourself, you would have to admit that you do not trust her either. How could I? She keeps too many secrets. She always has and always will. Distrust only breeds more distrust. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. And do you have a better idea to whom we should entrust something of such value? I'd give it to Nico to hold. And if she didn't want to carry the weight of it, I would. And you would be willing to risk your soul holding it? It is said to have demonic effects on its keeper. <laughs> demonic effects? I'm already as demonic as this realm will tolerate. I don't cower from the darkness. I am made from its fabric. I could handle it. But alas, they did not give the parchment to me to hold. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. 
But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. Facing Lilith will bring changes upon all of us. As we have seen, some will inevitably fall into the dark. And maybe some of us will emerge stronger. Don't forget the other side of that little coin. Stronger, of course. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice, soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. He used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space, and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine, Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves, and she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Hunter, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. What 
are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It has been my experience that what we seek usually has a way of finding us first. Yeah, maybe, but it's not like books just pull themselves off shelves and onto tables. Well, not in this castle, at least. Someone left this out. I wonder who. Sometimes I think this library is haunted by a friendly librarian ghost. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait. That is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But, the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and magic plan on piecing together a 100,000 year old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? It is unlikely that the historical account of the incantation is accurate. Well, I've, I've got to try something. It's not like anyone else has any other bright ideas. Well, I'm going to find magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Glad to see Nico found the book I left out for her useful. Took me a while to dig that one up. Oh, Hunter, you here to yell at me too? They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower, or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? You should share everything with the team. It is the only way to build trust. Well, maybe. I dislike sharing everything. Probably some latent issues related to my parents' death, and... Whoa, 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 I better save some for my therapist. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch. Maybe an Italian hoagie. 
and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much. Especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> Gotta get a sign. I saw a listing for a four-story walk-up, Upper West Side. Maybe your new sanctum? Tony, I can't think about that now. The sanctum wasn't just a home. It was a part of me. I know, I know. Just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. I said no. Tony, don't you realize what I'm going through? whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. Uh, don't, don't, don't curse me. We trust John. Now, there's usually all sorts of chaos at carnivals, but this was out of hand. I hope you're enjoying your time so far. My time with what? Shh! Hunter, it's rude to interrupt. I know it's always a gamble spending that cold, hard cash, but come on, guys gotta eat. It is my turn to speak. Oh, you want to talk to the player? Sure, be my guest. Go ahead, don't be shy. Um, where are they? Just past the fourth wall. Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. Uh, hello, player? See? Without you driving, the hunter has no idea where to take this. Um, I, uh... I think we broke him. This was a bad idea. Here, let's just back out of this existential cul-de-sac and pretend it never happened.
Hunter, just in time for the meeting of weirdos. There's you, me, and a unicorn if we can find a third. Hope the rest of your fan club won't mind. What makes me weird? <laughs> I forgot you aren't as self-aware as I am. You talk like you're an ancient artifact, you're older than the geezers who created us, and you've got some deep-rooted mommy issues. Should I keep going, I charge by the hour. I am honored to be among weirdos. You say that now, but wait until your friends see what spending more time with me does to you. You make it sound dangerous. Ah, I know. Isn't it great? Are you not concerned about fitting in? What is this, high school? Are you scared of getting a swirly in the bathroom? I do not know what a swirly is. Oh, don't worry. I'll show you later. Besides, I'm more interested in your answer. Fitting in, yay or nay? Maybe a little bit. Take it from me. You'll be a lot happier if you don't give a damn. Have you ever tried it? Not caring? Yeah, it's great. Try it sometime. You'll live longer. Actually, don't quote me on that. Listen, all I'm saying is that I'm not the only one who likes your whole shtick, so keep it up. Want to do some spirit of vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh man, I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh hey! <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons. I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? Take it as a challenge to yourself. Johnny Blaze created his reputation as a fearsome warrior through his actions, and you can do the same. He's got more than a reputation. He's a legend. And you can have your own legend. Just put in the hard work. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? If you want the truth, I am still getting used to all of this. I do not think it ever quite becomes normal. If it's still weird for you, then I don't have much hope for me. Maybe just accept that being a hero will always feel a bit weird. It just comes so naturally to some people, like Cap and Marvel and Blade. Like they were born that way. It may seem that way to you, Robbie, but I assure you, they still struggle with their own identities, too. You are not alone, Robbie. We will do it together. Well, thanks for the heart-to-heart, -heart, or demon-to-demon, -demon. <laughs> or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. I'd count cards if I knew how to do math. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. Self-pity? That is not you. 
No self-pity. It's fact. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. Come on, Blaze. Show yourself. I'm running out of ideas. Don't worry. That much big asshole energy can't hide for long. You have more faith in our tech than I do. soon. Stay out of trouble. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off-grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is gonna go all squiggly. Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. Well, think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm, good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out wherever you are. You can't hide forever under whatever backwater rock you've crawled under. Not from me. During my last meditation session, my thoughts turned to you, and I wondered if you had some wisdom to offer. I steered Earth's mightiest heroes through esoteric cataclysm and mystical strife before, but now I see myself dimmed in their eyes. With the loss of the Sanctum, is it possible that I am the last Sorcerer Supreme? All your experience makes you a stable voice in unsettling times. Yes, I held the fate of many in my hands, but the Midnight Suns don't trust me. The Avengers fear I am so fragile that a single misplaced comment would shatter me. Leaders cannot always see the path ahead. And I still follow you. One out of three isn't bad. None of us wields control. We can only swim through chaos, gathering what we can preserve. My ego relished being the sole calm eye in the midst of unholy tempests. Now, perhaps I find all eyes, including my own, look to you. You remind me of the Ancient One. Or perhaps I must learn the same lesson over and over.
If Hannibal could see this crazy hell I'm about to go down in, he'd cap it. What have you got for me, boss? I need something to do. Sometimes, I even impress myself. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. a pleasure. My charm won you over. That was a hell of a sparring session, Elliot. Haven't been this source. You know I know magic, right? Time's wasting, Hunter. Advantage we can get. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Awesome! Can't wait to see how this goes down. I can see why you did that. Ready to work? You ever wonder if those birds out there are stuck here, trapped in the Abbey's bubble? It's creep. No pain, no gain. Do your thing. 